Hey guys, come on in. We're going to be working on some artwork for the game. Uh, the game is called Twisted Tower. It's about a creepy theme park in the 1950s. Um, we're going to be using, uh, you know, cozy. Let me turn this up. Cozy, cozy. Check, 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 check. Very good. We're going to use cozy 1950s music in the background as our inspiration as we work on these posters. And the posters in this game, um, they're meant to, to make the the theme park feel more alive, more, well, like a, like a 1950s theme park and marketing material and being super capitalistic with our advertisements is going to help us achieve that. So I will see you inside of Photoshop on the other side. By the way, guys, feel free to download my free 2D game kit below. It's totally free. It's my treat to you. I used this exact 2D game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days, and then I got to play it in front of his subscribers, which was really awesome. Um, so download that. Use it however you want. It's my treat to you. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, come on in. Come on in. Let me try and turn up my music for you guys. Hmm. One sec. One sec. I want to. I want to hear some cozy uh, 1950s music here. It's honestly, I love 50s music. I love it. There we go. That should be good. Not too loud there, right, guys? Not too loud. All right. Good. We got another hour of this music. All right, let's go ahead and create some cool advertisements. Um, yeah, so what's really cool is, um, as long as we keep our Photoshop document like this, we can either do tall or wide. We just rotate it with a black bar on top or a black bar on the right, and then we've got ourselves a very um, sort of simple template to work with to make these 1950s um, advertisements. We're gonna be working on What's the next one? Oh, we need to do a uh, advertisement for the grapple hook in the gun. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna delete the shotgun here. I'm using a template. Uh, this character will remove, actually we'll put him down here for now. Come on in, Project Patty. Brilly's Hanger, how are you? Soul Engine Studios, you're always here. Welcome, welcome. You're always welcome, guys, to come on in as I make games. It's always super chill. Um, put me on in the background and I'll just talk to you, answer questions you have and um, make your games or whatever you're doing. If you're a student or you're working at a desk job, let's just hang out and make games. And hopefully if you guys are interested in making games, you can um, check out those links below. There's a ton of links below, just a ton of free resources for you guys like courses, um, free um, game kit. There's a game kit I use to make a game for PewDiePie. Um, in 14 days that's available for free as well below so check it out okay so sadly this sucks sadly we don't have any screenshots available of our grapple hook I thought we had that this sucks well let's go into our weapons screenshots scene we have a scene where we can take a look at various objects I'm gonna not save this this is from Dark Delver. Hey Thomas, question right at the start. Do you guys instantiate the enemies or are they they're pre-placed? Does that do anything with performance? <laughs> they're they're uh 80% of the time they're pre-placed. Um instantiation does ca cause a dip in performance, a very subtle dip. Um so if you can avoid instantiating but rather load the whole level, you should do it. However, there are arenas that spawn enemies randomly. Um Yeah. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we've got this cool scene here, and this is for photography. It's kind of like a photo studio. Studio, And, oh good, we've got some stuff here. So we could just take some screenshots here. I'm gonna remove the post-processing effects. Actually, we should be good. These subtle shadows should be all right. So let's go ahead and take screenshots of all of our weapons, or, uh, I 
That should do just fine. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. I don't know why we don't have this in here. I was expecting we would. But anyway, let's just paste this in here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make this look like a 1950s vintage advertisement. Honest Dev Games wants to make my life a living hell. Honest Dev Games says, why don't you make them 2D animations? No, how about no? <laughs> That's called feature creep, Honest Dev. What are you trying to do? You trying to tempt me and never get this game done? Let's uh, skew this a little bit. I'm just messing with you, by the way, just being sarcastic. There we go. Okay. Now let's just kill the green here. Man, we may have to re remove those shadows. Yeah, the shadows are causing problems. All right, so I think that's actually... I'm so sorry, guys, that I... <clears throat> I'm sorry that I have uh, allergies today. So I might be sniffy. I always have allergies. Okay, it looks like that's a shadow. We should not be having shadows. Why is it doing that? Oh, is that? Yep. Okay, that screen. Um, that subtle darkness is causing problems with our cutouts, and that's the ambient occlusion. So we're gonna disable that just for now. There we go. Are we using UI toolkit? No, we are not. We're just using out of the box stuff. Kahuli, thank you. Kahuli says, great stream. Can you guys hear the music? The subtle 1950s music? It's just so, so beautiful. <laughs> Can I get a bless you? <clears throat> All right, we're gonna make this look awesome, I promise. Look, so that's so much better now. Actually, we could just do this. Why is it doing this? Look at that. Okay, there we go. That's the mag magic wand tool. May God bless you. Is it real? This is Demon Coach. What a weird name. Demon Coach says, is it realistic to release your first game as a new dev? Sure. It might not make money, but it's, yeah, you can release it. I'm working on a game with a relative and I was wondering, well, please get a contract, something. Cause that, that relative is going to not be your relative if the game makes a million bucks and they don't get the percentage you agreed on. Should our first project be purely to learn? Well, just cause it's purely to learn doesn't mean you can't release it. You should definitely release your first, uh, your first game and you should not expect any money. Okay, just being uh, being real with you here. I'm trying to, I like to set realistic expectations as much as possible. Game dev is not something that you should just expect to be successful at right away. All right, let's try and get that, the butt of that gun a little bit. I don't know why it's so wide. You don't really see it in game like that, but. Okay, and then we also have some green here that we're gonna remove. Does anybody else have any feedback about releasing your first game? Has anybody released their first game before? And if so, did you make money off of it? Now, my f I think it was my third game is when I made my first amount of money. I think I made $20,000. Oh, it's maybe $28,000. And that was when I was <coughs> 18 and I was making Flash games. Now let's turn it up this way and maybe scale a little bit like that. And we're going to do something like this. Let's move the text up. Oh, I wanna show you something, guys. I made a cool action here in Photoshop that will make it look like a 1950, 1950s vintage painting. So let's hit play here and see what happens. As long as it's a smart object, we should be good, yeah. I wanna release a mobile game for multiplayer. Hopefully I'll be rich. <laughs> um, Mike Jemmy says, um, I'm releasing my first game in a few months. I'm doing a mobile game because I thought it would be easier. It's, <laughs> it's not easier. Oh, it's not. Um, it's not. Who, 
there's a YouTuber that I really like who talked about mobile games. Who was it? I can't remember. But there's a lot of YouTubers who will talk about how releasing a mobile game is just a real pain because there's so many like little regulations you have to go through. Okay, let's do this, move this badge here. We're gonna have it say free. We'll do like maybe something right here. We'll remove the uh, drop shadow. It feels weird there. We'll do pretty big here. Okay. And what I'm trying to do with these advertisements is obviously bring in a feeling of commercialization of this theme park, um, as if these are something you can go get a concession stand. Um, but I also want to explain what the weapon does as well. Let's bring this up here. We're going to call this the harpoon. We'll do much larger text here. You betcha, you betcha. Thomas, do you have any laptop recommendations? I don't. Laptops are something that are foreign to me because uh, I never use a laptop to make games. Okay, I wanna have a subline, or a, what am I saying? A subtitle here. Um, okay, let's think of some kind of pun we can come up with this harpoon, okay? <clears throat> can anybody think of a harpoon pun? Anybody have any harpoon puns? I'm doing well, Cloudy Games. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> We're going to move this up, too. Anybody think of a harpoon pun. We'll add it in there. Thomas, is this game still inspired by Half-Life? Yes. I was just thinking about Half-Life the other day, actually. Um, it's a great game. It is a great game. I was listening to the soundtrack. The, the original soundtrack. It's, it's just a great game. You'll be hooked. I love that. Very good. That was Dark Delver. <laughs> Round of applause to Dark Delver. And that's why I live stream, guys, because I could steal ideas. So good. You'll be hooked. Brilliant. All right. Just like this. That's great. Um, I kind of feel like <clears throat> I like it above that there. Um, the thing about like 1950s ads is there's always a bunch of layering going on. All right. When are we getting paid? You are not getting paid. What you, who do you think I am? All right. Let's do uh, some text here. So right here, I do some sort of silly phrase that's ridiculous, um, but it also talks about the, the harpoon. This harpoon is wonderful. It's so great, right? It, keep an eye out for those blue targets. Also turns on some electric coils yeah there you go and Carl Sagbottom is gonna be the guy who said it this harpoon is wonderful it's so great right keep an eye out for those blue targets also turns on some electric coils yeah all right and we'll just put that here or put a quote at the end of this and let's add like a water a bluish watercolor in the background. So something like, that, and then the blue here, we're gonna do maybe white or cream. And then the text can be blue. There we 
we go. Let's make sure we save this properly. And you guys want to see it in game? We'll see how it does. This is going to say harpoon. All right. And let's go ahead and open it up in Unity. I just want to make sure this looks good in Unity. So let's go ahead and drag it onto some posters and see what it looks like. Just like in magazine covers. Yeah. All right, let's open up Unity here. Oh, it's already opened. Very, very good. Thomas, what are you thinking, buddy? All right, let's go to floor zero. I'm going to don't save, actually. Oh, thank you. Ninja Chompick gave me 10 BGNs. I don't know what those are, but I'm sure I can get a McDouble with that. Do you think it's viable to make paid CCG card battler steam? I have no idea. I don't know what that is. It's, it's, you said it's saturated, but it can a good design and marketing make the cut. Sure. It's really hard to predict that. I'm, it really is. I don't know. Just make what you love and try and come up with three good hooks, a visual hook, a story hook, and a mechanical hook. And don't be afraid to replicate other games that have been successful. Yeah. He gave me $5. That's, that's perfect. I could get two big doubles. What are some details that could drastically improve horror and, and spookiness for your game? <laughs> I'm so sorry I keep sniffing, guys. <clears throat> Thomas, come on, man. <clears throat> Music. Music. Let's do it. You guys ready? Let's take a look at some music changes that we can do here. So let's let's do the grab let's do the music change really quick just so you can see. Um, and then we will, then we'll do the grapple. I want to, I want to explain how important music is when it comes to horror. As long as unity doesn't freaking crash. <sighs> Nonconformist says, Thomas, you're such an inspiration. You gave me courage to start this YouTube channel. And I'm also thinking about live streaming. Yeah, go for it. Live streaming is scary. It's really scary. But just chill, you know, have a good time. Sometimes I don't even think about you guys. I'm just talking to a camera. Honestly, it helps. Um, I know that sounds mean, but look, all of a sudden I'm like 15,000 units away from where I'm. Unity, I'm going to freaking blow my head off. Holy crap. to treat it gently. Oh my word. <laughs> Guys, oh my word. This is so frustrating. Jeb's getting mad at me. He's like, why are you screaming? All right, let's see how the harpoon looks. And then I'll show you the music stuff. I know I'm going backwards here, but Let's throw the harpoon on there. Sweet, looks good. Now obviously the frame is wrong here, but let's hit play and take a look. We'll kill two birds with one stone actually. Let's put a, a light there just to see. Do I have a frame? I'm just gonna throw a frame material on there. It's something like that. There we go. Okay, so let's let's turn off all of our music, um, just so you guys can see what it's like without music. Okay, so let's hit play. Bianca says you're impressing some women. Yeah, usually uh, females don't really show up during my live stream. It's just the way things go. With game dev, it's not a very, there's, there's not, I don't know why, there's just not a lot of females in game dev. There's a few, obviously, but. 
Um, let's go ahead and go to our lobby here. And let's take a look. I think it looks great, honestly. Especially when we add a weapon here. And you also want to see, like, is it readable? You know, the harpoon, you'll be hooked free. This harpoon is wonderful. It's so great, right? Keep an eye out for those blue targets. Also turns on some electric coils. Yeah. Good. Okay. So we've, we've given a description of kind of what the harpoon is for, but we've also sort of teased the player that this is something that they can get. I think that's really important. Okay. Let's go ahead and pause our music here and let's feel out what this feels like without any music to discuss we're discussing what makes a, a game creepier and spookier you know my game ne isn't necessarily a horror game it's more of just a spooky weird game like half-life or bioshock now obviously guys i've got ambience here so that's a huge aspect do you hear the ambience Okay. But let's throw on some music, okay? We'll just throw this one on. This is just going to be horror music. And let's see what we can do here. that one try to find some good music for you guys maybe this one oh come on Jack you know that you're gonna get no I don't know if I have any horror music anymore oh here we go yeah let's let's use resident evil as an example here's a resident evil song Yeah, I did write a song, so here's the song that I wrote. I don't know why I didn't even think of that. Here we go. So it's super important. That's why, why music is so important. I think it's uh, probably 50% of what makes something creepy or spooky, you know? All right, so we've got that poster done. Um, what else do we have to do with the posters here? This one we could probably add on a little bit more grunge, <laughs> like this, yeah. That's great. We'll do something like that. Um, what else, Thomas? Well, health. Let's do health. So we have an ice cream cone. And let's think about some puns, guys. We'll do both. Both this one and this one. Okay? So we're going to call this poster health. 
<clears throat> okay, and we'll put them together right here. And think of some puns, guys. All right, let's think of some puns. Um, don't forget to munch. It's cake and ice cream, that's right. Don't forget to munch. We need a pun for right there. In the you'll be hooked. <laughs> Figure out a pun there, guys. Okay, we could take the ice cream here and this. So we're gonna make them pretty big and create some cool layers. And making YouTube thumbnails has really helped with this because YouTube thumbnails. You, you have to communicate a lot with very little, and the same is true with ads um, for a game. Um, and you also wanna use a lot of layers and clipping as well. <laughs> Don't forget to munch. All right, let's think of a pun. Dine and dash. That's good. Don't forget to dine and dash. I love that. That's great. Anything else? HP to go. <laughs> I love that too. HP to go. Doesn't look as pretty though. Dine or die, I love that. Dine or die, <laughs> that's good. I don't really feel like this one needs a price. The reason why, any collectible like this that you're gonna get a lot, you don't wanna trick the player into thinking they can go and buy it somewhere, because they can't, you know, health is collectible on the ground. So I don't want to trick them or make them think they need to buy it. The same is true with ammunition as well. Sweeter than death. Oh, that's even better. I wonder if we could do both. Really good, guys. Those are awesome. Don't forget to dine or die. That's kind of weird. I think it. I just think it's. Uh, it's probably better to go sweeter. Um, twisted sweets. Twisted sweets. That's the product name, right? Mm -hmm. And then, what was a? Uh, Sweeter than death. I love that. That's awesome. Scale her up a little bit. Perfect. Let's think about what Carl Sagbottom wants to say about this. <laughs> Can anyone come up with a statement uh, from Carl Sagbottom? You guys are better than ChatGPT, I'll tell you. What is Carl Sagbottom gonna say? He needs to mention that um, every guest can find sweets throughout the tower 
and even cast members and employees will drop sweets too for you. Um, come up with some kind of phrase that's funny, that explains how to collect them. You, you find them. Sometimes you can find it in trash cans. <laughs> These allergies are killing me. Sometimes you can find it in trash cans. Sometimes you can find it in suitcases. <laughs> So give me a give me a statement, guys. I'll put this here for now. And let's bring up our ice cream cone. We're gonna flip this one. My grandmother lived to 102. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we need it to be like a paragraph, a couple sentences. Can anybody come up with something? Here, watch this. Now that we have this, we're probably gonna scale this up a little bit more. Yeah. Let's change the background color to be, I'm thinking desaturated so that those really pop. Remember kids, moderation. Remember to bag your sugary sweets. We'll need some sugar time to time. Close. Yum, not yump, yum. Okay, Carl Sagbottom says, don't forget to bag your sugary sweets. You'll find them all over the tower, in trash cans, suitcases, and dead bodies. Yum. We're gonna use eat. We're gonna use snag. Owen says, got an eye for candy? Explore around and find what delicious treats we have for you. They might just come in handy for you to stay at Twisted Tower. I like that one. Got a sweet tooth? I sure did. Got a sweet tooth? I sure, I sure do. You could find tasty treats all over the tower, in trash cans, suitcases, and dead bodies. Five second roll. Am I right? There we go. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of a drop shadow to this guy here. There we go. And then we're gonna combine these into a smart object. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our action, which is our vintage 50s painting, and hit play. And it should make it look hand-painted here. <laughs> there we go. No, I'm not using a Wacom, I'm using the world's greatest mouse. Who knows what this mouse is? Come on, who knows what this mouse is? And let's make this less red. And a cheap way to make this look more vintage, because it doesn't really look vintage, but we got a lot to do today. Um, is add some, some just grunge, okay?
Good. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, we'll, we, I'll show you that we'll, we'll definitely be adding a, a normal map. That's a great idea. Okay, and one thing is we probably wanna remove the smoothness here. There we go. That helps a lot, but let's go ahead and type in poster health, drag it on there. Hopefully it'll fix it. Yeah, let's ignore the frame. And we'll add a normal map as well. We have a plaster normal map. Pretty straightforward here. There we go. We'll do five. Oops, we can't change the uh, frequency, so that's about as all we can do here. Twisted sweets, sweeter than death. Got a sweet tooth? I sure do. You can find tasty treats all over the tower in trash cans, suitcases, and dead bodies. Hey, we need a quote there. Okay, got our treats. Oh, we've got our weapons done. Um, upgrade system. So let's take our upgrade vending machine here and let's go to our screenshots. Object screenshots. We're not going to save. Treats to kill your hunger. That's good too. A lot of these are great, guys. I'm really, really, uh, I'm really happy with a lot of these. Good job. Okay, here we go. And what I'm going to do is do a little bit of lighting here. Okay. Actually, I think the lighting's good. I'm going to paste this here so that we have a nice green screen behind it. And we'll do a nice little angle. Okay. And you notice that I'm not too worried about resolution of the screenshot because we're just going to add a bunch of filters on it anyway. So it's Fine, and it's also just going on a poster, you know. Okay, let's go ahead and call this vending machine. And we'll kill the treats. Uh, not for this. We're not going to have translations for this because it's not super integral to gameplay. Um, we have tool tips and all that, and those are going to be localized. We're actually working on localization right now. For this, it's just artwork, and so I'm not too worried. That looks great already. Let's go ahead, and, uh, go ahead and add a filter to this. All our 1950s filters. We're not gonna have a quote for this one. We're just gonna have an explanation. Also, this is called the Chad Station. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our upgrade UI. There it is. And we have a logo for the Chad station. Hang on. There it is. Pixel Workshop says, Thomas, I love you. Thank you for inspiring me to start this journey many years ago. You betcha. All right, so let's get the Chad station logo. And we'll also have like a, a jacked person standing there in the advertisement. Okay, so we're gonna have to dig really deep here. All right. Where is it? It's deep, 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 deep. 
deep down into our smart objects here. Of course, Charlotte would go for a Chad. There it is. It's time for an upgrade at the Chad station. And we'll go to our vending machine here. Got a lot of art. If you have artwork to be able to reuse, guys, just do it. There is no reason to reinvent the wheel here. I'm going to rasterize this. Sadly, I think we need to do it right here and then bring this up. Like this. Hmm. We might need just that logo. If I have it. I'm not sure I do. There it is. Good. We do. Okay. I'm going to save this and do a quick watch this. If you just click close all, then we can just open it up again. Right. There's to Chad station. All right, guys, come up with some puns for the Chad station. This is where you upgrade your weapons. Come up with some puns for me. We're not going to need that or that. We'll probably use this font. Want to beef up your arsenal? Use Chad Station vendors found around the tower. That's great. Is there any way we could add some humor to that? One of my goals is to have all of the advertisements act as... Well, there's a ton of... It's a very funny game. There's a ton of humor in this game. I would probably say there's probably more humor than horror in this game. And, you know, some people might not like that. Um... But that's, I think it's my forte. I'm the funniest guy I know. Not really. But I think I could be funny in games with dialogue and stuff. So, Get your weapons buff. <coughs> Beefier than your average Chad. <laughs> I like that. That looks good. Um, I kind of feel like the Chad Station logo needs to be down here. We'll do like a dark brown. Mm -hmm. And in the background, we'll have our dude, like a buff vintage guy. just think that that's easier to see up there we really want to try and you know what this is this is one I think we need to go horizontal okay guys so let's go ahead and flipper gains for your G. <laughs> gains for your G this makes <laughs> oh my word I can't say that out loud Want to beef up your arsenal? We have sliced the price on all Butcher Bill products. Go and take a look. Well, you know, what we need to explain in our in our words, guys, is we need to explain that every floor has a vending machine and each floor has a different discount. So we definitely need to explain that in what we're saying, okay? So do the work for me and come up with a pun. Lucky Boy says, Chad Station seems a bit cringe. Lucky Boy, I'm not sure. You're right. I'm not sure you know what we're going for here because that's the whole point. Be a Chad like your dad. 
No, that's the whole point. We're trying to be cringe. Cringe is all day, every day. Okay, where am I? He says, then you've hit your mark. That's right. Let's move that over here. There's something going on with this. There's something back there. Ah, it's this. The logo who goes right here. I wonder why that color overlay is not working. I think I can use that now. Well, we don't want to say anything about this floors deal or at this chat station. We're just doing something generic. Like every floor has upgrades. That's kind of what we're saying. Every floor has discounts, specific discounts. So we want to explain that. Again, the goal of these um, posters is to generally explain what each pickup does or which upgrade station does. There's levels to this S. I love that. That's so funny. <laughs> Buff up your boomsticks. That's cool too. <laughs> I might use that one. <laughs> I love that you guys know kind of like what the vibe is here. I'm trying to figure out how to add some layers to this. The higher the price, the higher you climb, the better the price. Show us how big those calves are. <laughs> Get a pump at the Chad station. I love that. Um, I I like beef up your boomsticks. That's great. Beef up your boomsticks at the nearest station. Every floor has special discounts. Something like that. I don't know why I can't get that to change the text size or the wrap. Um, let's try again. Beef up your boomsticks. Beef up your boomsticks at the nearest, at every floor has special discounts. All right, let's go find a Giga Chad. Let's see here. And we'll add, you know, a painterly look to this because it's looking kind of cheap. Have I seen American Psycho? Yes. That is a, a big inspiration here for this whole game. I mean, I love the, the tongue-in-cheek um, humor of that movie. I think that that movie is... Well, I mean, obviously, it's not misunderstood anymore. Um, people get it, but... I think that in the 90s, when it was it was it late 90s, early early 2000s, I don't think people understood what that it was making a mockery of like sort of hyper masculinity, um, and we want to do that here. I, I don't. I clearly I don't have anything against hyper masculinity. I mean, you're looking at hyper masculinity, um, but. <laughs> All right, let's. I'm just kidding. Let's look at uh, back to easy and see if we can find a strong vintage male. There we go. And I'm paying a subscription service for this. Um, I gotta look for something that looks like 1950s, you know.
boomsticks need a pump. That I like that better. Boomsticks need a pump. Beef up your weapons at the nearest station. I love that. I think that's really cool. Boomsticks need a pump. Good job, guys. Seriously, I'm really impressed. Let's do Michelle. Where is it? There it is. I like this font. And these are all properly licensed. Some of them I had to pay for. Others have free commercial use. Where the F mm -hmm. is it? Hold on. There we go. All caps. And we'll separate it out a little bit. And we'll do italics for this. And move the logo up. <coughs> okay, this has a too much contrast. Definitely has too much contrast. Where is it? We'll bring it all the way down here. There we go. And then we're going to reduce contrast here. And let's go ahead and um, do a little bit of a distort here. It's not perfectly straight. Weapons. Yeah, okay, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Taryn. Look, Max, your arsenal at the chat station. Somebody's on TikTok too much, Mr. Smugly. Um. <laughs> All right, let's let's find a uh, a vintage male classic. This is actually really good right here. No attribution required. It's not AI art. A lot of these stock websites are just filled to the brim with AI art. Um, so this, this feels like a, what does this feel like guys? Who, what game does this look like? Anybody who knows it's not hard, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dustin, what are you talking about? <coughs> All right, let's open this up here. We're just going to take the line work here and see if we can bring it over here. Um, we're going to try and fit all of this in here. Okay. Logo, we're going to shrink. We're going to bring this over to here so we have a little bit more room and I kind of feel like we want to do this with like an explosion behind it or something maybe do even this but let's make sure we get this correct Type an explosion. What do we got? Ooh, we I love these. Let me guess. AI art. Radial explosion silhouette. Exploding burst. Round explosion clouds and exploded bomb effects. Black silhouette. All right. I think we're okay. No attribution required. Pro license. Okay. Oh, you know you got to be careful. The chat station, the cringiest station of all. That feels more 20s right here. 
grab those. We're just going to grab this one here. Paste. All my years of graphic design, it's not perfect, but it helps to have that kind of a background. Does anybody have a graphic design background? Get a bang for your buck, I like that too. Don't be a wiener, be a winner. <laughs> um, we can try and add bang for your buck. Every floor has a special bang for your buck. I like that too. So I wonder if we can uh, fit it somewhere here. And a lot of you might be thinking, there's too much information. Well, that's the 1950s, you know? Um, that is what the 50s did. It's just like constant overload. Just enough information here. Sorry, I gotta lock all these layers because I can't select this. There we go. Boomstick need a pump. All right. Okay, so Azari Wolf is, is a graphic designer, self-taught, awesome. The self-taught clarification is interesting. I've heard that before. I don't, I don't even care if you went to school or someone else taught you. Who cares, you know? It's like, who, I don't know. We might wanna line these up actually. There we go. Maybe increase this a little bit. Nice and lined up straight. I get so annoyed when things aren't lined up. Maybe we can do centered here. No, this game, this game has a lot of, um, it's, it's, there's a lot of commentary on what makes a man a man and you know it's a lot about um tropes and lies it's not in your face don't worry it's more funny than anything um that explosion is cool but It needs to match. Let's do this. Merge these together. And let's put it over top of this and see if that matches. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, we got our 1550s vibe. That background's a little dark, or a little light, so we're gonna darken it. Ah, crap. Hmm. I think it's the, this guy, he just needs to be brighter. You could just do white, apparently. Chads don't die, they flex. Probably make that a little bit bigger. And both of these, we're gonna group them, because I'm lazy. Do a color overlay of white. And I think we're good to roll, guys. Okay, I really wanna see this one in game, actually. Because I, I, I don't know. One thing you can do, like it, it, to me, it doesn't look hand painted enough. 
And one thing you can do is just, you know, merge all your layers together and then on the very top layer, do a big, huge, you know, you could do a whole uh, vintage 50s action here and just do the whole thing. Um, stop. Hang on one sec here. Convert that to a smart object and then do a full, all of these actions, which is like smart blur, unsharp mask, the whole nine yards. That, why? What's this error I'm seeing? Hey, NJ, how are you? There we go, okay. So let it roll here, one sec. Okay, so what we could do here is do a soft light maybe. And drop the saturation down. And then I'm gonna do a brightness increase but a contrast decrease. So it's more faded. And then maybe a gradient map for this one. Yellow midtones, green, black tones. Maybe this we could actually do something in between. That feels a little bit more vintagey, but it's still it's a little green, so I'm going to shift it. Okay, I think that's great. Um, let's go ahead and see how it looks in game, okay? And I actually like that we blurred out that text on screen because every every vending machine has different text. So yeah, it does feel Bioshocky. That's that's definitely a good thing. All right, let's go to floor zero and see how it looks. All right, so let's go to a painting here. I think we're gonna have to rotate this here. But you notice that all of our paintings here, all of our paintings here are um, the same. It's either just flipped on its side or upright. I told Felipe I want it to be super simple. I don't want to be complicated with different meshes. It's all very simple. You know, what you're looking at is the artwork anyway. Um, that's my theory. Poster vending machine. Drag it on in. Mm, mm, mm. Bad. Uh, what? That's not right. <clears throat> what happened? What? I don't think these meshes are correct. Oh, painting horizontal. We have one that's horizontal. We can't rotate them. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's copy the, the transform values here, though. And we're just going to take this, paste the values. Goody, goody. And then, yeah, I think, I think I did mention that now that I'm thinking about it in our call. Felipe and I discussed this. I think we, yeah, we decided we needed a separate mesh because the UV is going to be different. Otherwise, I'd have to work on it vertically in Photoshop. And you'd, be, you'd just be like this the whole time. We don't want that. Let's see here. 
Goodness me. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. That's right. Um, okay, let's go ahead and throw our vending machine. Okay, so. Oh boy. Uh, the UV's off. Um, we need to fix the UV. Flippy will probably do that because all of them I put at the bottom, and so he'll probably go into Blender. He's probably discorded me already today about it. So yeah, um, the UV should be up here. It should be down here, but I'm gonna save this and just see how it looks. Okay, very good. Good. And let's go ahead and clear the bake. Okay. So we want to see what's the readability of this, right? Is the player is the player really able to absorb this information? So we're going to enter play mode and take a look. And we're not going to save anything with these scenes because I'm just working on the artwork today. Flippy is going in and add, adding the posters in relevant locations you know you if the player's about to upgrade maybe 40 seconds before they go and upgrade they need to see this right it's like right in their face um frame is somewhere there's so many materials this is crazy There it is. The frame adds a, it adds a lot of vintage vibes. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the uh, smoothness and a normal map. Very good. Oh, real-time lighting looks so much better. It's a shame, we have to bake the lights. We have to bake almost every light. All right, we're gonna make sure this area is enabled. So we're gonna to go to the lobby, that D makes it disable when we hit play, so I'm gonna set it to E. All right. I like to see it with me holding weapons. So I'm gonna make sure I hold a weapon. Oh, that's great. It's perfect, guys. And I love what you guys came up with. This is really cool. I really, really think you guys were super helpful here. The Chad Station. Boomsticks need a pump. Beef up your weapons at the nearest station. Every floor has a special bang for your buck so many good puns it feels 50s you guys did amazing really good awesome freaking love that and it looks good from far away it just adds so much value to our scene just a lot of world building right and that's what we want Sweet. I freaking love that, guys. Well, guys, that's all I got time for today. Thank you so much for hanging out. This was really, really helpful. And I learned a lot from you guys, and hopefully you learned a little bit from me. I'll talk to you later. Cheers. Get over here. Get down. <coughs> hey, thanks for watching. By the way, if you haven't downloaded that free 2D game kit below, click below. It's my treat to you. I used this game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days, and I actually got to play it with him in front of his audience, which was really cool. This game kit is totally free. It's my treat to you, and you can use it however you want. You can make a commercial game and make a million bucks off this game kit. I don't care. Or you could just use it for a hobby project. It's my treat to you. And by the way, if you haven't clicked like, that would mean a ton to me. Hit subscribe. And also, this is important. Hit that notification bell. Here's why. If you get notified of when I'm live, you can watch me make my next game and let me know in the chat what you think about the game or any ideas you have and you might just show up your chat might just show up in the next video that i upload all right
I'll talk to you later. Bye.